This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 16, Collision Detection, Part 7. I see a bunch of code here, so I have to hit run just to check it out. Ooh, whoa. We got a rainbow, a horse. Do we have any? Oh my gosh, a unicorn. I'm hoping I know what we're doing. We'll see. All right, rainbow horse. When the rainbow touches the horse, it should turn into a unicorn. Yes. Do this. Use the if, is touching, and set animation blocks to change the horse's, the horse sprite's image when the rainbow touches it. Okay. The unicorn image is already loaded in the animation tab for you. And I checked that out already. All right. So we need to use the if statement is touching and set animation blocks to change the image. This is going to be similar to the balloon we saw, I think, back here in 2 and 3, where if we touched it with attack, it popped, right? So, if is touching set animation. So we already have our draw loop here, which is great. I'm just going to move this up so it's easier to see all this. We create a variable here named horse. We then make sure our horse is set to the horse animation. That's where we set the animation of the horse. I'm saying that again because we're going to mess with that. We then create this variable rainbow and uh, set its location. We then set the animation to rainbow and we set the speed of it to the x and y speed so it will move diagonally and rotate direction. So, but uh And then function draw. So we set it to sky blue and then we draw our sprites. We need to detect, so first they said if statement. I'm going to grab an if from control and drop it here. All right, now what do I want to detect? I want to detect is touching in our if statement. We're asking the computer, hey, are they touching? So here's our is touching block. I'm going to put the corner here and it should drop right in. Now, we don't have anything named sprite. We did create a variable named horse and another variable named rainbow that we assigned to animations as a sprite. So when I'm going to say rainbow is touching the target, right? Who's it headed towards? The horse. When it's touching the horse, well, how did we create our animation for our horse? Right here. So I believe what we want to do is grab this set animation, put it inside the if. I'm going to now change this to horse because that's the name of it still. Our variable is still named horse, but we can change the animation to a unicorn if we want. Even though we named it horse, it doesn't matter. We're telling the computer to change it. Set animation to change the horse's image. The unicorn image was... Okay, let's give it a shot. Ta-da! And we have a unicorn. Apparently, we're never changing it back. Right? So, what's happening is the computer runs this code in the draw loop 30 times a second. So, it's just looping back around. Background blue. Uh, is the rainbow touching? No. Then it would draw as a horse. Then again, it wipes out the background to blue. It checks if the rainbow's touching. No, it draws a horse. We never see a blank background because of how fast it's running. Um, and then once the rainbow is touching, boom, we got Mr. Unicorn. So, awesome. That's really neat. I'm going to keep going.